Hi, hello, good morning. Welcome to today's session. So, in the previous session, we were discussing about uh, the tension uh, which arise in Balkan provinces. So, Balkan province it was mainly the area comprised with modern Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Slovenia, Montenegro, and uh, the different people living in this particular region they belongs to. Uh, Slav race. Then, uh, due to the outbreak of or breakup of uh, decline of Ottoman Empire, that too in Turkey and the Greece province led unrest or dissatisfied among uh, the people in this particular province. Then, uh, most of the European nationalities uh, they uh, argued or they broke away from. Ottoman Empire and they express their intention to demand for uh, their own independence and uh, most of the uh, powers they tried uh, they made possible efforts to uh, claim their control over most of the Balkan provinces and uh, each Balkan province or state it tried to grab more and more ter territories with the due support and uh, help from the major powers like Germany, Russia, England, Austria, Hungary and others. So this intense uh, uh, means and methods uh, given for uh, acquiring most of the provinces in Balkan region with the help of uh, major powers further it, it led for uh, the series of battles and warfare activities and further it led for the outbreak of first world war from 1914 to 1919. So after discussing this, in today's session let us discuss what result uh, it, it mainly made uh, due to this uh, method of nationalism as well as imperialism and uh, the different uh, things which went in Balkan provinces. So the countries colonized by the European powers they went with opposing the policy of imperialism. Most of the countries they witnessed for uh, rising their demand for gaining or getting their own independence and because of that firm belief of independence or liberty or freedom. So most of the countries they opposed the practice of imperialism. Then all the colonized countries began uh, to struggle for their own independence and to form independent nations or independent states. So all the uh, countries they went with following their own means and methods. Then each colonized state, each colonized state, they developed their own concept of nationalism, national unity, national integration and the concept of nation state. And most importantly, the different spheres of uh, nationalism, national uh, unity and the nation state, further it came to be accepted as natural as well as universal by most of the countries in European province. So these are the results. Then let us conclude the chapter. Let us conclude the chapter. So far we discussed about different spheres of uh, how the nation, nationalism it mainly uh, raised created, witnessed in European society. So what were the main uh, ideals, themes, principles were given importance by the people and how the people took their participation and uh, involvement in making uh, the nation unity as well as the indi individual ideals or principles to lead 
comfortable life and who were the important people who took participation and who encouraged and what are the different incidents and events which are mainly taken place uh, in creating the nationalism in Europe. So further, so the nationalism in Europe, it is the event, it is the period uh, which mainly uh, raised the concept of nation, state, national unity, not only in Europe and it became a uh, role model in creating the same around the world. So with this, let us conclude the chapter and let us end the session. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Take care of yourself. Stay at home. Stay safe.